Hey guys, welcome to your general reading for uh, Capricorn. This is going to be for your April 2024. You can apply this to any of your placements. We are going to take a look and see uh, what's good that's coming in to reach you guys. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, what that for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations. You may switch the roles if you want. If there's someone else in the read, uh, keep in mind that these are, are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, for the collective um, Capricorn people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that dedicated solely to my travels the links for those are in the description box below support me on there too also if you guys didn't know i am doing another giveaway this time where i'm doing giving away two free personal readings with me on zoom they're 30 minutes okay um so i'm announcing two winners this time so if you guys are interested in this giveaway check out the details on how to enter in the community tab on my youtube page and also um, i will announce the winners on april 12th all right so tell me about uh capricorn tell me about capricorn what's good coming in for capricorn what's good coming in for capricorn tell me about capricorn here what's good coming in for capricorn for april 2024 for capricorn what's good coming in for capricorn so we have the um temperance not temperance that we have the uh, justice card libra energy uh you know it could be that this time uh, you guys are finding a lot of balance here uh or that you guys are definitely like in this energy of like i would i mean the temperance card is not showing here but i feel like you guys are moderating yourself at this time okay uh you know i feel like this is more so an energy of self-care but perhaps you're get, you guys are healing uh healing like karma healing past life karma here okay um or that past life karma or your karma is being cleared out okay oh with the star card here and the four of cups four of cups here aquarius energy with the star card with the uh emperor here aries energy we have the six of cups here okay there's something that's coming back around from your past or that you have to face that you haven't faced yet here six of cups here and the ten of wands okay it could be trauma it could be pain that you're dealing with here you know i feel like you just went through one wave and i feel like you cleared that out very very easily and very effortlessly and i feel like there's another another wave that's coming back or coming or coming around that you have to clear out here this is some sort of past childhood trauma that you haven't really quite released yet or let go because i feel like the first wave was kind of like more on the surface you know but i feel like this wave is a much deeper wave here and i feel like it's going to bring upon balance and peace and healing here for you okay tell me about balance here balance and the five of pentacles here tell me about the star card here and the queen of cups cancer scorpio pisces interesting <clears throat> this past trauma could be a loss of a father figure here yeah that you haven't really quite let go of yet it could be a father figure it could be a mother figure it could be a grandfather here or, or grandmother here too with the four of uh four of cups with the eight of pentacles here wow you guys are really committed to your healing here your personal growth and, and your spiritual growth one wave has passed so that wave has been cleared out another wave is about to come and i feel like that wave is about to be cleared out here so i feel like you're really doing a great job here capricorn we have the emperor here and the two of swords um the two of swords in the bottom here is inner peace so a lot of you guys could be finding a lot of inner peace through this journey that you're going through here and i feel like if you guys have been indecisive about it i feel like you guys are being really decisive about the path that you're on or that the path that you want to stay on there's discipline here there's commitment okay six of cups here and the four of pentacles yeah so i feel like another way is about to come where i feel like you have to let go of something from your past from your childhood here we have the ten of wands here and the king of pentacles I feel like someone. I feel like someone here 
someone's parent had a very freak accident and he feel like their death was very untimely or just unexpected and he feel like someone here never really got over that yeah okay what else do we have here for capricorn what else does capricorn need to know look out for work on for april 2024 for capricorn for capricorn okay capricorn so we have the ace of pentacles okay we have the seven of pentacles seven plus one is eight all right seems like you guys are definitely achieving something here for yourself uh you know you you guys might be feeling very depleted at this time because when you do this type of intense healing work you will get very 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 tired and it's a really good thing because if you're really tired it means it's working all right um so it's important for you to get a lot of rest here especially if you're doing this type of work and also if you're working with somebody here too with the nine of swords here yeah a lot of heavy energies are coming up to the surface a lot of grief a lot of loss uh, grief loss is coming up to the surface here and i feel like this is going to free yourself from this torment that you've been in here because i do feel like someone here dealt with some sort of freak accident and lost someone here at a very young age yeah like i feel like you were the young person and someone that you were close to um you know passed uh crossed over to the other side here okay with the high priestess cancer pisces here i really feel like strongly you guys are definitely working with somebody here uh this is like some sort of past life regression work that you've been working on okay and this is something that you're really committed to past life past stuff here child inner child uh regression work here with a, a high priestess here and the two of cups okay seems like this is giving you the opportunity to find closure here regarding a loved one that has passed away here okay the devil capricorn energy in the five of wands here not the five of wands that's the five of swords i'm so sorry here um so um i do feel like this is something that you're trying to fight here this is something that you're really scared of stepping into or tapping into that's why i feel like this is maybe something that you put off for a very long time but as you go through your healing journey you keep shedding layers and these layers keep getting deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and i feel like this wave of grief is going to be really 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 deep okay uh the five of cups here and the page of a uh, page of swords libra aquarius gemini yeah i feel like someone here lost a parent when they were young it was very unexpected and they feel like you were really 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 close to this parent here okay and i feel like after that i feel like things went really downhill for you guys at capricorn but i feel like you guys definitely are on an upswing of things because i feel like you guys have overcome a lot we have the nine of swords we have the full aries energy aquarius energy we have the seven of pentacles and the three of pentacles here three plus seven is ten so you guys have experienced a lot of growth here you guys are feeling very fulfilled okay you guys are experiencing prosperity and wealth here at this time so things are looking very good for you okay uh i feel like more things will start to open up as you release this grief here the ace of pentacles here and the three of swords try not to doubt yourself here as you go through this process here just really embrace it and kind of go along with the program it's hard not to doubt, doubt yourself it's hard to not allow the fear to come in and to step in and stop you in your tracks here but you have to be strong here and i do feel like you're a very strong person here capricorn okay so capricorn i hope that this was helpful i hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below like this video share this video subscribe hit the notification bell and i will speak to you guys in the next one all right thanks guys bye